Hi, it's Susan from Crafty Paper Trail again. So this is a um, botanical or a um, themed or a floral themed vintage hardback journal. I've made it in the style of a carpet bagger. It's exactly the same way that I would make the carpet bagger frame, and then I've just adapted and played with it a, a little bit. So she's fa uh, she measures five inches by seven across. She has five signatures and she's got 140 pages back to front. She's really lovely. Um, the closure here, I'll just, um, it's an, an old earring and I've just taken it apart and used that to secure the tie here. She closes with some seam binding. I've left plenty on there and I dismantled, it was I've used it in another journal actually and it was what I had left, I just dismantled. I think it was the edge of um, a tablecloth, it was the edge round. So I dismantled it and I just put it back together in a way that I wanted to use in this journal. I don't know if I've got any bits left now. So she's upholstery cloth to cover, it's really lovely, this olive shade with the dark shade of green and as usual I've used lace on the edges, lace at the bottom. She has the spine. Oops, you're wobbling a little bit. I'll need to keep my weight off that, sorry. Um, the spine's a good two inches. Um, and I've used, uh, I wanted to keep this part plain because she's got so much going on with the, the closure. So I've just used a brass rose here hand stitched it on and um, just some fabric another piece of the sari silk that matches what I've used in the book and I've left the back I thought that was enough because the fabric that I've used to close is so ornate so to show how she closes as I said I took it took it apart and then I put it together again and I used um, some different fabrics, not different fabrics, different um, twine and wool sari trims to put it together after I'd stitched it. You can see here and I've used perils on the inside just to cover that to make it pretty inside. And I really like how that is. I, I like the contrast and it brings all the colours together because this is Bonnie um, at the bottom here. It's really, really lovely trim at the bottom here. So I just thought that doing it this way pulled all the colours together. And that's such a lovely piece of lace. It's quite chunky, but it's lovely. So that is the closure. Sewed it back to back. And I really felt it didn't need anything else on the front and the back panel. Because with the little gem, I just think that's enough. And as I've said, you've got plenty there to wrap around. Now, because she has got a spine where she will lie flat for you to write, I've made the book up with basically things that are on my desk. I did put together a kit, a digi kit myself to do the main pages, but the other pieces of ephemera were just either things that were getting thrown out or the ends of kits. Like this was um, a piece of scrap paper that I'd used in a, an album for um, someone else so I, I thought it really went nicely that's the first page that's of the digital kit that I'd made and I just thought it went lovely it's got a lovely sheen on it I don't know if the camera will pick it up and it's a pocket and it's a Stamperia postcard I've used because as I said I want to use up some of my stash and I just think the colours that's what inspired the kit in this book same journal these colours and as you can see, the lining of the actual book itself was vintage as well. It's vintage um, fabric that's there and it's all been lined. And that's the lining there is actually the original tablecloth as well. So two layers of lace, tuck, as you can see, postcard. I've gessoed that so that you can write on there. Just a book page coffee dyed paper uh, this opens out so just nice and then I've made a tag 
I've done a lot of collage and tags because I wanted again to use up scraps and pieces and I think I'm really pleased how they turned out. And I had the number 25 and with Christmas coming I thought I'd put that on there. Made a little window here so you can put your own if you want in there. As you can see and at the back it's a tuck space. I did think I had something else in there, I'm just double checking. Nope, I thought I did. I will put something else in there because I always like to put something in. And I've stamped the back of that, just lines. This envelope's a copy. I've got the um, original. If anybody's interested, I'll do a video. If you leave a note below, I'll do a video. I've got the original um, envelopes. This was before, um, in the 1800s, before there was postage stamps in the UK. And this is how they sent them out. So I've copied it and I've made it into a pocket. You'll see the other side of it. Doily, double doily. It's just a piece of card that I had I thought went nicely and I've made a little tag here, a little window, a book page and I made a pocket, Stamperia paper, the centre of the first. Pockets have all got Velcro closing. I'm checking. That's because the page itself has actually been um, collaged for strength. And then the pocket's being collaged with heated holding paper. And just a little bit of tea dyed paper. And I took And then this flips up. And I'll just put some writing space because I like the picture of the tree. And that picks up nicely there. And that gives you a wee tuck there. And then here, this was actually packaging. It was from um, a supply, craft supply shop. And I can't remember what which one it was, but it, I just thought it went really nicely. And I'll put a dragonfly on there and some bling. It makes a nice journaling card. And that's the other side of the first envelope that I was talking about. Little flip. And it's been collaged as well. And that's another journaling page that's in the kit that I made up for this one. And I've just um, embossed a butterfly and popped it there. Book page. Another tuck pocket. Space at the back. Collaged again. Lace, as you can see, and other pages from the kit. I've not put it, I don't think it's in the shop yet. I don't know if I'm going to put it in the shop. If anybody's interested, you can let me know. Little charm. I don't know if this glare's a bit too bright. I'll maybe put the, the slight down. See if that's a bit better. There seems to be a glare. It's a little blue light. <sighs> Little blue charm to go with the blue. And then I think it's Wendy. Um, I saw her do these and I had some of these. Um, or my partner did. <laughs> and they make a lovely tag spot. For tags, sorry. Little window. So if you wanted to write something or stamp something, you can put it in there. And that's Stamperia paper in this one. Another tuck spot. I've put some ordinary tea dyed paper there for you to write in. Two tags. An envelope, altered envelope, I've just, it's a used envelope, so it's been collaged on, stamped, lace, another tag with some paper. Another one of the embossed butterflies. Envelope from the kit. Tea dyed paper. And I've lined this one with an old ledger paper. They've all been stitched. That's from the kit as well. The other side of the envelope with the window. It's pretty paper. Stamperia paper. 
and I just did a double ruffle. In fact, it's got three layers of lace, this one. I just thought it was lovely. And that was a, a vintage, a really old earring. Um, and it's not it's not expensive. I don't even know that the beads are really of plastic. It, it's, I just thought it kept in theme with the journal. I really like it. Again, this opens out. There's a little... If you don't, I was going to say, I was going to pull it and I thought, no, don't, because <laughs> it's holding a little journal in here. So that was cute. A little hidden writing spot. I've tried to give as much writing space as I could in this one. And I love all the pictures of the roses. Again, another picture from the kit. Double lace. This is a lace covered um, glassine bag. Another Stamperia card. So it's got a lot of give in it. It's, it's really great. It's a lovely sized pocket. And at the top it takes a full size card. I just put notes, another butterfly flower. Kept it quite simple. That's um, a piece of, of ephemera, personal ephemera. I think it's the 1800s. Yeah, 18, oops, sorry, 79. As I say, if anybody's interested, I can always do a video showing the ephemera that I have, that I use. That's a Nick the Booksmith piece of ephemera. An altered paper clip here. I'll use this one. So it takes a full size. I'll do that later. Really pretty. done these before. I really like them. And they're really effective because they hold a full size card, as you know. And they just slip on if you don't shake too much. There you go. And I just put a piece of note card in there, same kind of colours, but it has got a nice, a nice gloss on there. I don't know if you can see it. A bit blurry still. And this is some of my Yuka stamped paper. I just liked it. Some manuscript paper. And here I've done another stitched, and this one, I've done this type of pocket before because I really like them with a the heart, and it's backed. And this will actually come out, if you want, I've done it this way for two reasons. If you want a template for the full size, I've put one in. There's a, obviously the tuck at the back for this card. So there's a tuck at the back, there's the tuck at the actual photo. And then if you want one, you can use the butterfly somewhere else. I've painted gold around it. Or it gives you that for there. So you know which size to stamp out. Or you can flip it around and stamp a sentiment on it. Another piece from the kit. And this is a pocket. And that's one of the postcards that's got my Lindy sprays on there. Really, and this was just a bit of fun and playing, and I've just punched holes as you can see, grommets, and then contrasting ribbon just for a bit of fun. I just like the the different ribbons. And then here another little tuck spot, writing space hidden in there. piece of paper spare from the kit and it's left a good size top spot. No dog clip and that's another altered tag and I've put a little envelope, a top spot there plus there's a, there's a working envelope there. Just like that. A little Rose just flips open. Lots of space. That's the other side of that piece of ephemera. And I think that was a bird cage. Have I just thought we've not come to it yet? And this opens out again. 
and again I have I get loads of these um because I was doing some gorgeous albums gosh a few years ago actually and I've still got loads so there's a good size pocket here a little tag here belly band with a tag here and I don't think it's a it is a pocket here so I will put I think I will put because I like to put I'll put another two cards in here before she goes but I do like that I think that's really cute more from the kit if you can see enjoy life's simple pleasures it says I really like these pictures another altered pocket I've made into a tuck with the same tag to go with it and I've left that on purpose because I like the contrast and you can still write in the back so you've got it as a pocket and then as a tuck at the back a piece of ephemera it's one of my own and I love this <laughs> I had this sticker and I really love it this little rabbit honestly how cute is he oh oh and I just loved it against this don't know why it just tickled me it really did so another tuck here really bent unless something else happens and I don't get them finished sometimes real life just gets in the way doesn't it Which is why I've got some top spots that I've forgotten to put these little envelopes in because I've real life's just gotten away and I've not managed it. Nice little spot there. Another piece of personal ephemera. And I can't know that's 1878 and the date in that letter. This one's another layered piece. I've put some, as you can see, there's some um, tea dyed paper so you can write on the back of that one. And then in here, you can't really see it easily. There's a little owl on there. And there's some paper to write tucked in there. I like that image. And then this one opens out. And there's a little... I'm trying to go as quick as I can, but there's just so much to go through. Pocket. I put a little angel card here that says magical. I just did a little cluster. Again, I've collaged there so that you can write or do what you want in that page. And I just made a card up that matches the envelope. I mean, I just put the tea dye paper that came with the envelope. I can't remember which kit that was with. Little flower book page, poem, swallows, I left it because I really like that and I just put a nice blank tag and stamped notes on there another flip with the other piece of ephemera another embossed butterfly and I've left the wings on these because I like that there's a wee bit of movement like that another tag And I've left that because I thought that gives you, you know, because sometimes people are saying they don't like that they've got nowhere else. You know, they want to do some of their own writing, some of their own embellishing. They don't want a journal that's fully, fully, fully embellished. So that's left too. This is a piece, obviously, in sari, old sari trim. And I've layered it there, some material. And I just thought that was a nice flip. Another one of those tag windows. And this is the last altered paper clip. There's two. So this is a side one, obviously. And that says, oh gosh, treasure your memories. It says I stamped one there. I'll do that later. Otherwise it'll drive you crazy if, you, if you're still watching here or if you fast forward it. Another pocket here using book pages it's just stamped piece of ephemera 
and there should only be one because it's the same one and it says things things that I need to remember in fact I'll use one of those and put I've got different ones I'll put a couple of the style card in those other pockets again from the kit I turned, it turned out really well I, love, I, I really like the papers little angel here I used some Stamperia paper to make pocket. I had a whole load of cards. I made a couple of albums I had to do, which is another reason why I've not had journals coming out. Um, so I had quite a few of these left, so I've just made places to write. Printed in vellum. I just loved the pinks from the Stamperia paper. I had a piece of this ruffle trim that just loved 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 it that's the other style of the envelope before stamps came along and this is a valentine's letter um, that i managed to get at an auction little flower here and it was it's um, dated 1889 and he's written it to his valentine and it came with some um, providence shown uh, with it, that it's, it's a genuine letter and it's a poem that you've written to and it's really lovely so I've included that in there piece of ephemera and I've left it white on purpose so that you can write or paint or do what you want on the back another piece with a window tag Altered envelopes, lots of altered envelopes I've used here, old junk mail in this one. Other side of that. This opens out. I've left that so that you can write something there. And I just really liked this idea of the, the wood. wooden frame. I've left a blank tag and I've put Beauty in Bloom, which was actually um, part of the paper pad that this, this one came from, if I remember rightly. So I thought it would be quite nice. I cut that off the main sheet and then put it there. So there's a pocket at the back, the window at the front. And I just, yeah, stamp here their paper. The other side of the vellum. And this is the back pocket. Yep. And what I did was I copied the, not copied, well, I, there's another sheet in the, well, I took this, resized it, cut the words, and I made a little booklet. I've left it plain because I wanted it flat. As you can see, the book's bulky enough. And I just stickled it, took them out. I love this little birdie, so cut him out from the page, moved him up. Um, and I used uh, glossy accents here in the sun. A little bit of seam binding for here. And it just attaches together some sheets. So that that's easy enough for you to replace. And the pocket just fits in nicely there. And it's, it's really flat then. Last page. And then this... And I've left that as well for your own writing. I just love the shades. I just made that up from three different paper packs. 